Today, we're gonna take a closer look at a creature that we see a lot of here in Colorado. The Prairie, prairie dog. dog. When we see prairie dogs, we usually see them at the top of their burrow. But what is it like inside? Hmm. I've climbed into the prairie dog burrow. <laughs> Just kidding. I'm actually in a closet with a flashlight, but a real prairie dog burrow would be pretty dark. And a real prairie dog burrow, like your house, has separate rooms. Check it out. Prairie dog habitats have a bedroom? A room near the entrance called the listening chamber to keep an ear out for danger. All clear. Shh, a quiet nursery for the babies. Even a bathroom. Ah, 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 privacy, please. Now, Grab a piece of paper and something to write with to design our own prairie dog burrows. We're gonna use this whiteboard wall. You, use the paper. Make sure you include all of the rooms we mentioned. The nursery, the bathroom. The bedroom and the listening chamber. But just for fun, also add a room that you would love to enjoy if you were a prairie dog. Let's take a tour of our burrows. Jeff, here's the start of yours. That's the listening chamber on the left. Here's the room I added a funnel for rain into a special pool that's heated by geothermal magma for a hot spring. The baby nursery, there's your bedroom. Hey, look, our burrows are connected. That's what happens with real prairie dogs too. That's the right. burrows connect and make neighborhoods. Your bathroom's at the bottom. My nursery's at the bottom because it seems like a good place to be safe. Keep those little babies there. I've got the restroom and a very lovely looking prairie dog. And I added a party, party room. room. You live near prairie dogs too. Next time you see a colony, imagine what those burrows look like underground. 